we just need to keep on heading up. I do wish they would give me more enemies. Just two. And that's it. And I honestly have a hard time telling them apart because I kill them in one round, kind of no matter what. So, what are you going to do? All right, this is the crystal we need to destroy. Or at least throw down to destroy the other one. The other one was a fluke. Target successfully destroyed. We can now proceed. Good job, Cosmos. Let's go back down. Oh, wow, they move slow without me. Uh, but we automatically make it down there. Okay, here we go. And I'm going to take this opportunity to save yet again. Ooh, wait. Half repair. Now we can save. Before we do actually head on, it's time to head back. Because as you most assuredly remember, there was something that we did. We dropped an ore before and... It opened up something for us. Where was that? It was way back at the previous tunnel that we skipped before. So a little bit of a journey back to the first split, which was right here. And now we can actually head down here. And there's an actual purpose to us going down here. Anything on the right? No, I think it's just a giant area here. I don't think there's anything else here. All right, what is this item that we missed before? Oh, it looks like gold. No, it is a special item, a rough geo crystal. We will disembark the ES at this time. Let's take a look at that rough geo crystal, though. <laughs> oh, now they give you a little marker for when you can get back on. Uh, rough geo crystal. Are you gonna show me what that is? Next menu? No. They're not going to show it to me. Not going to show it to me. All right. We'll, we'll live without knowing it. Uh, segment address 12 is here. Honestly, I don't know how to look at special items. I was hoping it would just be a regular item. But I guess not. Is there, like, something that I'm missing? I don't think so. All right. Fair enough. We will move on. Wait, nothing in the item screen either? I feel like there should be something here. Ah, there we go. It was square from the items menu. Uh, we do have the EK device here, micro device to summon Erde Kaiser, a uh, few decoders, update files. Uh, the update file one was related to the UMN, update file two related to Erde Kaiser, rough geo crystal, a rough form of geo crystal. Needs refining, and the rest are empty. We haven't gotten them yet, but there you go. Where the hell did you come from? I'll take you on. As a result of that battle, Jin did level up and learn Break Heal Less, but we have seen that before, so no need to look that up. He did learn it, though. We are free to continue on. I need to switch the Reuben in every once in a while here to get Jin some experience, but it's not really all that important to me right now. I'm still trying to get Cosmos up to where everybody else is. Uh, the ESs do not level up themselves, in case you have not noticed. They get their own stats their own ways, but it's not due to levels or experience, so no need to level grind with these guys, which is kind of thankful for me. I, I am appreciative of that compared to anybody who. Let's just keep going. We are getting close here, I believe. Is this a tunnel? No. No, it is not. All right, we will head through this tunnel then. This is a clearly marked one. Oh, it was just shaded, it looked like. Oh, this does not look good, does it? No, it doesn't. It's time for a cutscene. Whoa, where are we? It looks like a cave. A very wide one. Um, is that Hebrew? No, maybe it's ancient Aramaic. Behold the great... Uh, I don't know, I can't read it! And behold, there was a great earthquake, for the angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat upon it. Wow, you can read it? No, I recognize it. They're exactly the same words that I've seen before. 
It was recorded and stored in Daddy's Y data. Ms. Rahis? Look out! Hey, what do you think you're doing? Don't you know it's rude to come into someone's home uninvited? Testament? You. You were in the Song of Nephilim. Oh, so you remember me. Well, isn't that nice? I find that rather interesting. You see, I remember you, too. I remember that you let me die. <gasps> but... Lieutenant Virgil... How? Now, don't get all sentimental on me. It's not like I've been hiding out here in this dump all this time just so the two of us can talk about old memories. Hardly. No, I've got business to attend to with your crap. Like I've told you before, all your self-righteous crap makes me sick. Junior, look at the letters on the wall. Damn, it's already started. Wait, what's going on? <laughs> you were writing them without even knowing about that? Oh, whoops. And you're still compelled to ride them now, huh? <laughs> now that really is funny. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's quite simple. That is the kind of place this is, to those vessels of anima that you're using. To the vessels of anima? What the hell are you talking about? Come on. You're not very bright now, are you? Why don't you just try using your heads a little for once? And it's boss time. Vessels of anima are resonating. That's going to make this difficult, unfortunately. Once on this battlefield, the anima gauge increases or decreases automatically each turn. So I started with everybody full, but it, it didn't end that way. Uh, we're up against uh, the ES... I've said Naphtali in the past, I believe, but I've also heard it Naf Naphtali. Uh, either way, it's, it's gonna probably die here. We're gonna be doing quite a bit of damage, unless it guards. Damn it. Um, I might as well kind of go for the animas early on. Why not? Why not? And uh, can I get three missiles off? I can. And a G, uh, two, and a G. That's the attacks that would probably help, but we're up against the Naphtali. And we will hopefully kill it. Locked on. Ambush on the way. Please hit. Oh, that can be so good, but as you can see, it doesn't do all that much damage. All right, we'll go for, what do you do, three? Yep. Go lasers! No ambush that time, but he gets a couple turns. That is not nice. All right, Anima on the Dyna as well. Let's go for regular attacks. We could do those. Yes, we can. Same setup, three, three, two. Even though technically it's like a Either way though. Damn it. Alright, we're gonna go for the special attack so that we get to see them. God, it feels like we it feels like we did so much damage, but then he's got a ton of health. Oh, we're getting there though. We are getting there. The dino is slow, but we will get there. Uh, yeah, just, just those two. I am starting with the lower one now that we are focused enemy units. on one enemy. All right, the Zebulon up next. Just go for... Actually, uh, you need to charge for the time being. <laughs> I love it. I can clearly feel 
feel your hatred. Oh, Anima Awakening, that is not good. That's why it's not good. God, that does a lot. Okay, Arfang, please. That is a lot of damage. All right, uh, Zebulon. God, just charge, I guess. Dinah, Dinah's up next? Really? Okay, I need to... Just nano repair, I guess. Nano repair on the Asher. As the share. Well, I'll help out a bit. Smoke screen, not too bad. But it does get two attacks. And that Nimbus laser can be quite effective. All right, I think I'm just gonna go for it. No, I need you to charge. I need you to charge. Uh, you need to charge as well. I want to get everybody as, as close to full as I can. That's going to be easier said than done now. Now hopefully with the guard up, that will be more effective. Hey, we got Anima going. So we might as well get that up to speed and, and go for two missiles and a G88 assault. Do as much as we can, even though it doesn't seem to be doing too much. Combo! Yeah, there we go! Here I go! It still doesn't feel like we did much, though. Not too much. You need to charge. God, that thing can be powerful. Okay. Uh, you're good to still just... No, wait. Two, there, we go. there we go. Much better option. No mercy. All right, co-op. We're still good. We're still good here. Um. Stop guarding. Ooh, that is not so good. That is not so good. I'm not sure the special attack's going to do it here, but I'm going to try. Not quite, unfortunately. Okay, now I need you to charge. I'm kind of hoping for the finish strike here, and I need the anima to do that for me, which does mean kind of everybody needs to charge for the time being. This is boring. Let's be a little more passionate. Anima awakening again. That's not going to be good. Buster launcher. Okay, not too bad. Zebulon tanked that, thankfully. All right. Stock. Well, stocks. Charge. Wow. Can you tell what game I'm coming from here? Charge. It's not too much damage when I charge. Not too much. Really? Like... Alright, we'll go for... We'll go for a little bit of an, of an attack here. I'm hoping I can get that anima up. But uh, the Zebula needs to charge no matter what. You need to. Uh, you could use it as well. But we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. Okay, I think we're going to be able to get it. No co-op. Okay, thank you. Uh, you charge. I think that the Asher has this. I think we can do it with Shot Buster. Finish strike, indeed. You think you've won? Kind of. Your attacks have no effect on me. But I won. That's all that matters. Give me the bonus. Levels up across the board. Medica S all cannon one. Fallen Eagle one and choke. All right, that's Cosmo, Shion, and Ziggy. I'll try to remember that. And I get a D counter. 
that could be useful. <laughs> well, this is interesting. I guess there's just too many of you. Lieutenant, you died. You're supposed to be dead. So how? How did I get here? Is that your question? Am I alive or am I dead? It doesn't really matter. That isn't even important. Then again, it's not something that I would expect you to be able to understand. Oh, please. Enough babbling nonsense. What's this? Is the new kid coming to crash the party? The time has come. Or what? Were you planning on staying here forever? That voice! Uh, Albino? Hey, wait a minute! Albino! It's you, isn't it? Did you forget about me? Mind. The energy gain is dropping. It's going to shut down. Output's still dropping. It's no good. Unable to sustain current levels. <laughs> that's what I tried to tell you. Like I said before, that's the kind of place this is. Oh well, good luck figuring it out. And finally... Damn it! We'll have to walk the rest of the way. The party is in on the fact that uh, Virgil is the Blue Testament, and apparently Junior believes that the White Testament is Albedo, which would make sense if Albedo was the White One, considering his name is Albedo. What did Lieutenant Virgil mean by, that's what kind of place this is? I expect the answer to that question lies ahead. Just can't give me a straight one, can you, Jin? Can't give me the straight answer. But now we are back on foot. Kind of where we last left off, nothing here. So we will just have to inch forward here. And here we do find a save point and a shop. I don't believe there's anything new at the shop. If you did not buy equipment for your characters before, now is the time to do it. Indeed, uh, the stuff here is the same that was available before. So if you hadn't already gotten everybody onto the red star, now is your opportunity. You should definitely have enough money if you sell everything. But with that done, that is actually going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Xenosaga 3. I've been Baller Scuba. I've been joined, as always, by my realizing what ES squads, ES's are squad, of Shion, Chaos, Cosmos, Ziggy, Junior, Jin, and Momo. When we come back, we'll actually head forward see what we have in store for us back there hope you guys have enjoyed these parts hope you laughed hope you learned hope to see you next time thanks for watching <laughs>